It's now time for the Rebirth Sports full game recap. You give me 10 minutes, I'm going to give you the entire game. We go all the way back to January the 4th of the year 2024 when the Nashville Purrs were facing off against the Calgary Flames and closing out the regular season series. Head coach Andrew Burnett deployed his lines in the following way. Forsberg, O'Reilly, and Nyquist. Sissons, Parson, and Sherwood. Smith, Novak, and Evangelista. Trennan, McCarron, and Sissons. Your defensive pairings are Yossi and Favreau, McDonough, and Shen. Luzon and Carrier. You see Soros gets the start in net. We are just 14 seconds into the game at Bridgestone Arena and you see Saros coming up with a save on Hannafin. That's the first shot on goal of the game. At 2.35 of the first period, Vladar coming up with a save on Michael McCarron at 3.12 of the first. McCarron's off the box. Two minutes for hooking. we got our first special teams situation, first penalty of the game and it's UC Saros coming up with a save on Lindholm. Then UC Saros coming up with a save on Nazim Kadri. but then Zeri gets his eighth goal of the season. He brings a whole lot of jam around the net and this puck was pinballing and bouncing and going everywhere and the, it went the only place that it uh, needed to go it was over the goal line and he gets his eighth goal of the season Calgary Flames lead one nothing with the power play goal early in the first period but at 5-12 almost immediately Coleman his 15th goal of the season is off of Yossi and into the net the Calgary Flames just like that already up two nothing here at Bridgestone Arena but things are getting interesting here it's uh, not even a minute later it's 6-9 in the first period now and Philip Forsberg's getting his 19th goal of the season cutting the lead to 2-1 to one in favor of Calgary he brings the rebound jam and wins the battle in front of the net for the loose puck converting for the Nashville Predators. We're at the 7.23 mark of the first period. UC Saros coming with a save on Anderson. 7.57. Nazim Kadri's 11th goal of the season restores the two-goal advantage for the Calgary Flames, making this game 3-1. to one. The Preds D slow to react in their own zone. And the Preds, through the first eight minutes of this game, just seem to be sleepwalking. They've given up three goals now in the first eight minutes of the game. We are 8-11 into the first period. It's Vladar coming up with a save on Smith at 11.49. Vladar comes with a save on UC so Parson, 15.09 of the first period. Now, Vladar comes up with a save on Alex Carey at the 15.50 mark of the first period. It's Colton Sissons coming up with his 12th goal of the season. Another remarkable hand-eye coordination play tip at the top of the crease. Parson and also reaching out, had a chance to deflect it, but Sissons gets there, takes it away, and puts the puck in. Fabro was the one who had the long shot. Fabro's shot was set up by Roman Yossi, so they both pick up assists on Colton Sissons. Pretty incredible redirect, and we've seen him do this a couple of times this season. His net front ability is pretty damn good. 12th goal of the season for Sissons gives the Predators their second goal of the game. Now, Calgary leads 3-2. to two. We're at 16.45. Uh, the first period is Hannafin and Evangelista both off the box. Two minutes each. Uh, one for something and one for embellishing. It's four on four. I'm just moving on from the situation. But during the four on four situation, the National Predators could not simply move on because Anderson's picking up his sixth goal of the season. There was only one second left on the four on four and the National Predators surrender the four on four goal making this game four to two in favor of Calgary. Preds surrendering four goals here in the first period. 19-16 of the first period. It's Wildar coming up with a save on Smith. We hit the end of the first period. A pretty wild first period. Calgary only 11 shots on goal, but they have four goals in this game. UC Saros is leaky and so are the rest of the National Predators. Preds have 10 shots on goal. We go to the clean sheet in the second period and the Predators looking to respond. At 107 of the second period, UC Saros coming up with a save on Lindholm at the 132 mark. Saros comes with a save on Uyghur at the 210 mark. It is Shen off the box. Two minutes for tripping. Anderson ends then off the box. Two minutes for holding the stick on McCarron. McCarron doing a great job on the PK, holding the puck in the offensive zone. And while Anderson was down, he's going to go ahead and grab the stick of McCarron, creating a four-on-four scenario for 48 seconds. Preds survive this one when Saros makes the save on Backlund. The Predators then get a power play for a minute and 11 seconds but unfortunately uh, nothing absolutely nothing is happening for this national first team on this man advantage at 507 of the second period you see Saros comes up with a save on Backland at 551 of the second period Vladar comes with a save on McCarran 625 Saros a save on Zari the team's trading chances briefly here in the second period. The Nashville Predators would not show a whole lot of offensive life here in this middle frame. At 7.37 of the second, Saros comes with a save on Coleman. 8.44, Saros comes with a save on Sharon Govich. At 12.04 of the second period, after some back and forth between the circles, it's Vladar coming up with a save on Shen. At the 12.43 mark, Tomasino's off the box. Two minutes for tripping. Well, this certainly brought the ire of the Calgary Flames as the knee was very close to being knee on knee. Saros comes up with a save on Sharon Govich while shorthanded. Then comes up with another save on Coleman and UC Saros come up with a third impressive save on Backlund before the Nashville Predators survive this penalty kill situation against Calgary Flames.
Plains. We return to five on five hockey in the 1744. Off the second, we find UC Saros coming up with a save on Backland at 1945. With just 15 seconds left in the period, Vladar comes up with a save on Cole Smith. We flip to the back of the sheet. For some reason, there's still things going in the second period, and we find. At 19.59 of the second period, Hannafin, his sixth goal of the season. And I wrote a remark about just the sloppiest, laziest defensive coverage by Yossi and McDonough and, frankly, everyone else on the team. Yossi stepped up to try to keep the puck in the offensive zone with about 13 seconds left. And by the time there's one second left, there's odd man rushes all over the Preds' defensive zone. And the Calgary Flames are converting and this fifth goal of the game truly takes any momentum that the National Predators seem to be uh, having, building, gaining, whatever. It took it all away. Shots on goal at the end of the second period. 5-2 to two in favor of Calgary is the score. Shots on goal, 26 for Calgary, and it is 19 for the Nashville Predators. We start the clean sheet in the third period with UC Soros finding himself on the bench, and Kevin Lankinen is clocking in to go to work. 28 seconds into the third period, it's Vladar coming up with a save on Jeremy Luzon at the 127 mark. Lankin makes his first save of the game, and that's on De Simone at the 215 mark of the third period. The Nashville Predators catch a break. Michael McCarron from the neutral zone dumps the puck in, catches Vladar unaware. McCarron gets his sixth goal of the season. It's the Preds' third goal of the game. Calgary still has a two-goal lead, 5-3, to three, but the Preds, at least catching a break seemed to have a tiny bit of buzz to him at 329 of the third period like it comes with a save on gilbert at 352 of the third vladar comes up with a save on Sissons plus the follow-up by parson at the 526 mark of the third period vladar comes up with a save on the captain roman yossi at 615 lankinen comes up with a save on backland at the eight minute mark of the third period vladar coming up with a save on mccarran's wraparound opportunity michael mccarran the offensive force in this game 8.37 of the third period. Vladar comes with a save on the captain, Roman Yossi. It's 9.32 mark. It's Lankinen coming up with a save on Nazi and Kadri at 10.17 of the third period. Lankinen comes up with a save on Ruzichka. 12.19. Vladar save on Tomasino. At 13.13, we find Vladar coming up with a save on Dante Fabro. But at 14.04 of the third period, we see Sharon Govich picking up a goal. His 12th of the season. This gives the Calgary Flames a 6-3 lead in this game. And that's all but sealed the score, but still some time to go in this game. The Nashville Predators, frankly, just unable to make any type of D-zone coverage in this game uh, and just be effective truly at all in, in front of UC Saros. With UC Saros already being leaky, six goals is, frankly, it's not a surprise. 14.30 of the third period. Now, we have to talk about this one. We have to slow down on this one. Tomasino picks up a match penalty for slew footing. Now, that leads to and means he is suspended immediately Immediately, as of that penalty being called until the NHL reviews it and either rescinds the suspension or announces what the suspension may be, as in one game, two games, whatever it may be. Now, let's slow down and go back because that's the facts. That's where we are. Philip Tomasino went in hard on Gilbert and it did not look like he slew footed him. I watched it just like everybody else did on the broadcast, just like we all went and checked on the internet a dozen more times. I truly don't think this measured up to the level of a match penalty with the player being down and injured. That's horrible. It's terrible to see, but it, it looked more like it was an unfortunate collision with a fall after the collision over Tomasino's leg that then led to him hitting his head on the ice. But the referees reviewed it, and they deemed it to be a five-minute match penalty, and that is immediately a suspension. Now, with the Nashville Purge shorthanded for basically the remainder of the game, Lankinen comes up with a save on Kadri, then Lankinen comes up with a save on Sharon Govich, and Lankinen comes up with one more save on Hannafin. Hit the 1858 mark in the third period, Lankinen comes up with one more save on Coleman. Six to three is your final. The Calgary Flames win this one in convincing fashion. At no point in time were the Nashville Purge a threat to winning this game right out of the gate. The Flames were the much better team. The Flames win the season series two games to one. These two teams were one and one and were exactly even in scoring. Uh, no reason that the National Predators should have come out this flat on home ice. They were challenged by their head coach just a couple of days ago, but this 
Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde thing that this Predators team is doing back and forth every other game. They're a beast on Tuesday, and then they can't even get out of their own way on Thursday. It's a who knows what this National Predators team is doing right now, but they're at an imbalance, and there's some things we need to talk about. But 6-3 to is your final, and your shots on goal, 39 for Calgary, 32 for the Nashville Predators. That's going to do it for the Reverse Sports Full Game Recap. We've got a lot of analysis coming up and even some complaining to do right here on the Renegades of Puck podcast.